Hello everyone and welcome to Throwback Thursday with me Taurus. As you can see it says 2002 FIFA World Cup Korea Japan. Because the World Cup is starting I thought we'd do a World Cup game for this episode. So what I'm going to do is a friendly because I can't do the whole World Cup obviously because it just takes too long. So a friendly and I thought the game we'd play would be Brazil versus Croatia which is the opening game for the 2014 World Cup. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to play as Brazil, they're the better team. The controls are absolutely terrible. I remember playing this game a lot when I was uh, younger, and it was it was a hard game to, to to master in a way at first. But when you're used to it, it's very easy. But after playing obviously the new Fifas, this game just feels very very awkward. So as you can see, players coming out, the graphics look lovely, very blocky. But um, the wrong thing about this game is. When you shoot, the ball has like this red mist, or not mist, but line behind it, and it can swerve anywhere. Because back in 2002 for the Korea Japan World Cup, there was talk of the ball swerving a lot for the players and the keepers, so they enhanced it into this game, and the ball literally does swerve like mad. So here we go. I'm Brazil in the yellow, just in case you don't know who that is, and Croatia is in the red and white and blue. So as you can see, you got to tap the run button, which is triangle. One PlayStation 2, by the way, I forgot to mention that. You've got to tap the triangle, as you can see, you can run, and then you just cross it in, and... Oh, I thought I scored a goal then. <laughs> it's very awkward, because you can play on the analog stick, but I play on the D-pad, because it's just easier for this controller, because I'm not very used to the PlayStation controller now, after the Xbox controls have been out for all these years. So you got to, like, you know, try and pass your way through. If you press, well, if you move the right analog stick, it will pass the ball to a player and he will pass back to you. So it's like a one-two you can do in the game, which is a cool element to the game. You can press, um, I think it's R1, which makes the computer players run. This is how you do throw-ins. You select where you want to throw it like this, and the ball comes in. When they pass, they stop running. It is, it just feels really clunky and awkward, but back then, it's a really good game. I enjoyed playing it, I completed it like 10 times over, you know, just kept winning the World Cup, just love it. Let's cross this in. That was a really bad cross. I say the controls are hard. But yeah, it's a, it's a game for its time. I remember buying this, I couldn't wait for this to come out. It's cost me like £40, which is, um, I don't know actually how much it is in, in dollars, if you guys are American are watching. But in Euros, that'd be about 50 to 60 Euros. It's a lot of money, really, for a game of this sort of stature, you know. So today's games, we all moan about the prices. Yeah, they are expensive, but you're getting a lot more for your money than you are that you did back then, you know. Plus, you've got online play. I don't think it's had online play. I don't think uh, internet gaming was out for PlayStation 2 then. It came in a little bit after when the PlayStation 2 started to go online. Um, I think I've got the FIFA World Cup 2006. Obviously, that's got online mode. And that was that was really good. I like that. Come on, come on. Let's try and get a goal now. Come on. No, too far in front. I'm trying to play in. You can't do like a through ball as such like you did, or you can, shall I say, on the new Fifas. It's very difficult to get that ball across. But if you guys remember this game, let me know. Um, also, who do you think is going to win the World Cup this year? Who do you think has got a good chance? I've got a, a little feeling that uh, a Euro European team will win. I'm going to go with Holland. I think Holland is looking so strong, especially in the qualifiers and with whatever else is going on around them. I just think they've got the, the, the motivation to go on and win it. Um, obviously, I'm English. I want England to win, but I ain't being funny or nothing, but England has got no hope as usual. They just they lack so much in every other way. You know, One minute they could be really good and they could just be really bad in the next. So it's just a hit and miss with those guys. But I'm going to go with Holland. I think they're going to win the World Cup personally. A lot of people think Brazil because they're at home. A lot of people are saying Argentina. One reason because of Messi and plus Argentina are a good team. Um, what else is it? Who's got a good chance? I think Germany have a very good chance. I mean, they are a strong team. No doubt about it. They'll probably be the outside favourites. Probably more than Holland. But I'm going to go with Holland. That's going to be my pick. I do like Holland. I can't get that ball off the computer. And I'm only playing this on amateur. This game is so awkward. I'm trying to shoot for you guys so you can see the ball swerve. That's what I'd like to do. Let's get this ball out. There we go. 
back heel, lovely. The tack thing's like is circle and square, so it's like it's very awkward because the tackling is not tackling as we know it. I think it's still the same buttons on the PlayStation for the FIFA games. I think it's still circle to shoot, square to uh, do like a, a lob or a cross. X is pass. Like I say, the sprint buttons are probably different now. This is triangle, you've got to keep tapping it to, to run through everybody like this. As you can see, the lines appear on the pitch. That's the computer runs that you can make. The computer runs into a direction and you can pass it into that direction, hoping they'll get on it. That's half time. Just get straight into it. There we go. There's no messing around with menus, none of that. Like I said, it's only friendly, so I might draw. I don't know if you can get an option to do penalty shootouts. If I can, I will. Uh, maybe golden uh, goal might be on here. I'm not too sure what the options are for a draw game on here. But yeah, you got the group stages in this game mode. Obviously, you got your knockout rounds. Obviously, you're winning the World Cup. Well, it's passing. It's horrible. It's a really good game for its time. Just trying to. There we go. There we go. Go on. Go on. Go on. As you can see, the red line. That scored. I got it in. Ha! The red line is where the ball curves. It's so awkward. That is Rivaldo. Do you guys remember him? He had that very big controversial moment when the ball was kicked at him. Was it in France 98? And he just falls to the floor for no reason. When the ball was just passed to him, he just dives over at the corner flag. Remember that. But yeah, score the goal. As you can see, they celebrate as if you've literally won the World Cup by scoring a goal in this game. It's very dramatic. As you can see, I shoot, blocks it, shoot again. It just sort of curls over there. There's no, as you can see, there's no back. Look at that, look at the ball, it all swerve around, There's, <laughs> it's just crazy. You can shoot from literally anywhere on the field more or less and it will just swerve in. They made the keepers so bad, worse than what they are now. Okay, let's try and get another one, I want to see if I can do like a long range shot if I can. It's very difficult, like I said, the controls are awkward, there you go. Try to tackle, he just falls over. What's going on, there's Roberto Carlos, you guys remember him, played for Madrid. I think he went off to Turkey after Madrid for a bit, I think that's where he did end up going. Look at this pass, that's so weak. There you go, one two pass. There it goes. That's the one two pass I was talking about. Go on, get onto it. I oh, kept it in. No, he's blocked it. Ah uh, you can do like volleys, headers at powerful rate. There's no such thing as like has to be on the right foot or control. It's just it's like an arcade game in a way, but it's uh, a very good game, like I said. Well, for its time, not probably what for now. Kiss the day, probably like what the hell is this rubbish? I'm gonna shoot. Here we go. Oh, he's, he's got it. Come on, shoot. Has he gone in? What the hell? Why did he take that? <laughs> Still FIFA today. Computer just, or the player's not controlling the ball correctly or getting near it. Trying to get the ball. Come on. It's on the 70th minute now. Roberto Carlos coming across. He's got a good left foot on him. Try and play it through. Try and play it through again. Look at that swerve on the ball. That was the whole big controversy around the World Cup 2002 with the swerve of the ball. The ball's getting lighter. Players not used to it. Keepers couldn't handle it. I remember watching that World Cup. It was, um, it was quite a good World Cup. Some great goals in that, I remember. Um, 2006 World Cup was, uh, was a good tournament. England did do very well, as always. So tell me guys, which countries will you, or nations, which ones will you be supporting this World Cup? Who's going to be your favourite? I mean, if you're not into football but you're watching this video, you know, pick a team. Who do you think going to win? We'll come back to this in one month's time after the World Cup has ended. And we'll look back and we'll think, oh, I got the prediction right. Or, oh man, I was miles off. They got knocked out in the group stages. This ain't fun to do. That's what the World Cup's all about, having fun with the world. Trying to do the one-two of myself again, didn't work. Passing is really bad in this game. The pitch was like, it's bone dry and the ball's not even moving. Come on. Wow. The keepers are pretty good to be fair on here. They do some pretty good saves. I've had uh, a warm-up game just before this video. Look at that, it's right as area handballing it. <laughs> uh, a warm-up video, uh, a warm-up game should I say. And uh, they were just like literally hitting the ball all around me. And uh, the keeper was like, save, what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> oh my god, what is he doing? Uh, yeah, the keeper was saving the ball all over the field. It was shooting from range. We were doing like volleys like, literally like next to him. He was just diving and catching it. On today's game, uh, FIFA, I should say, it wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. He'd be in the back of the net. Croatia coming on strong now. 
There he goes. Can't get near him. It's like attacking. It's such bad. Wow. What a goal. What a goal. <laughs> Look at this. Bosh. Yeah, the keeper ain't saving that one, though. No way. No, I'll be able to save that one. That was a bullet. So, 1-1. One, one. What's left on the time? 90th minute. 90th minute. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, I thought it was through. Controls are just so clunky. You do... You do uh, notice, wow, what a pass. You do notice this generation, or even the last generation, the controls are so much better than this. No, I might actually lose. I might actually, I might actually lose. I lost. I lost. I lost in the 90th minute. Two goals. <laughs> no way. Look at the power in that shot. It's like a bullet. What the hell? Wow, look at the swerve of the ball going in the net. The keeper's useless. There's me bit at making the keeper sound really good. I'm taking it all back. They are rubbish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Ah, oh, there you go, guys. He got man and match. He scored the winning goal. The game says Croatia will win 2-1. I know. I'm going to see if Croatia will win 2-1 on the opening game. I don't think it will be. I'm going to go with uh, a Brazil win probably 2-0 opening game but we'll see that's great the size of his head I mean look at the graphics crazy 2002 World Cup as you can see they make it like sound like an, every time you score a goal or do something or win a game it sounds like you just won the World Cup even though you know it's like a friendly or a group stage but anyway there you go that's the FIFA World Cup 2002 game I hope you enjoyed that hit the like button if you did also comment on the things that we talked about in this game and there you go Let's back to the main menu this is what it looked like not much on there, bonus menus is, or materials is basically just videos of the making the game and things like that. So if you like to hit, like, hit the like button, like I said, and I'll catch you all on next week's right first. It was something totally different. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all then.